We want to find out R or S. These are both uh, chiral centers or chiral because there's four different groups on the center chiral carbon. So what you do is first prioritize. You get out your periodic table. The heaviest is bromine 1, then fluorine 2, then fluorine 3, then hydrogen 4. Uh, so there's a couple different methods we can try. The bus driver will go like this. You hold the steering column with one hand. It doesn't matter which hand you hold it with. With the other hand, you drive your bus. So front going towards you to two to three. So I'm going like this. In this direction, I'm turning my bus left. Okay. Uh, if you do visual, you can just do that yourself. I'll go over that one. If you do your thumb, uh, if you try to do it with your right hand, four, and then one here, you cannot bend without breaking your fingers off around to two, three. But with your left hand, if you put one out and four going that direction, you can curl your fingers one, two, three. So it's a left-handed molecule, again, S. If you do the paper method, so we know for sure it's S. Uh, but if you didn't know, you want to do the paper method, that's where you take the one that is priority four and switch it with with whatever is in the dashed position, going back into the board. So 4 and 2 have to switch in this case. So you renumber. Uh, you just have to move your numbers around. 2, 3, and 4. So now, uh, there's no hand or thumb or whatever involved here. You just connect the dots. 1 to 2 to 3, and hopefully you know how to drive. That turns to the right. Because I switched to, I inverted the configuration. So I use the paper method. Anytime I switch to, I invert the configuration. So I know the original was S. If this one's R, the original was S. Okay. Go to the next one. Here, we have the hydrogen in the front. Uh, same substituents. So I'll go 1 for bromine, 2 for chlorine, 3 for fluorine, and 4 for hydrogen. If you do the bus driver method, you're basically holding your steering column towards you. So you're on the opposite side of the steering wheel. And you go one, two, three, like this. But you want to flip around like you normally do the bus. So you have to be a little coordinated. I'm turning left. Okay. Uh, if you do it with your thumb, then uh, with your right hand, if you tried it, and you put your thumb pointed out where four is, and you try to go one, two, three, you can't curl around that direction with your right hand. But with your left, you can. You go one, two, three. So that curls around that way. Uh, the paper method, if you want to do it that way, you have to switch whatever's four with whatever's in back in the dash position. So that's one and four in this case. So you redraw your template, switch one and four, so H will be back, BR in front now. And then uh, put, leave the chlorine and fluorine where they were. <coughs> Renumber one, two, three, and four. And now all you have to do, there's nothing visual about it. You just connect dots and hope that you can drive. This goes from one to two to three, goes to R. Because I switched two, anytime I switch two, I invert the configuration. So the original must have been S which agrees with our other methods. <coughs> Any question on this one? Yeah. If we change our fluorine or like our fluorine to a uh, carbon, would it still be chiral? If it's bonded to a carbon and three it, it still is chiral. So if this was a carbon here, mm -hmm. like a methyl group, still chiral because there's four different groups. It doesn't matter that this carbon matches with the carbon out here. That's okay. In fact, this could be a methyl, this could be an ethyl, this could be a propyl. It's still chiral because there are four different entities on that central carbon. Okay. Yes. Jackson. Could you do the bus driver on the bottom left one? Bottom left. This one right here. Okay. So you hold the steering column, which is going out of the board. Uh, so it depends which way you want to face. Like if I'm facing this way, I hold the steering column in front of me like this. Uh, and then I'm going from one to two to three like this. That this is going right. One, two, three. But then I've got to flip it 
so I'm driving the bus like normal humans do. I'm turning left. If I wanted to stand like this, that, like this I could do it a little bit differently. I could put four in front, like here, and go, uh, so I'm standing behind the board right now. And I could go uh, one, there's two, over there. One to two to three. So one's here, two's here, three's up here. And I just look at my stream while I'm turning left. If I'm driving this bus. So you have to be a little more acrobatic, you know, if you're doing it. But you can stand on either side, so it sort of depends if you're standing in front of it or behind it. Yeah. Um, can you? Well, this doesn't have to do this, but um, okay. you don't have I'll stop the tape.